Hey ho, hello. Always do a little check, check. Okay. Make sure everything's in play. <clears throat> okay. No, I'm good to go. Good to go. All right. Hey, hello everyone. My name is Augustus, and I learn about social barriers and norms to help people become their true self in life. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit. Today, I want to talk about why that kind of like this topic of loneliness, like not feel this feeling of not wanting to be alone again. It's it's a very tough feeling. It's a very hard feeling to deal with because some of us out there. We are kind of looking and holding on to this this uh, hope that we'll someday we'll be able to find a companion. And right now, I'm particularly talking about just friendship, just any kind of human interaction. Like, and when whenever we're looking at this, when we're, whenever we want something too much, we become really desperate in a sense, and we start doing all these different things. <laughs> That we won't usually do, and then push us to a corner that is very tough for us to do. So, here, <clears throat> maybe I just want to see if we got we got to this point where, like, some of us maybe just thinking like, just looking out there, maybe through a car or a maybe just through your window and feeling like, man, I really want to just be someone else. I wish I can have that person's life. I wish I can have that person's boyfriend or girlfriend. Or just sitting there and trying to imagine like, what would life be like if I was that person? And kind of living your life through that person. But it doesn't really work out. And it really traces back to who like reminding ourselves of how lonely we are and how lonely we are as a person and it's it's very tough and the thing is it's especially tough when we are always very critical of ourselves like, like whenever something happens and it's bad we blame who we are as a person we Focus on all the different little different things that we're doing wrong, and we criticize ourselves incredibly hard, and which makes it even more difficult to uh, come in contact with other people, because I mean you already experienced through this, but <clears throat> going imagine going up to someone and trying to become friends with them, but at the same time we are like not very friendly. At the same time, we're seeing this first sign of anyone actually willing to talk to us. So we hold on to that really tightly, and we kind of smother them, kind of uh, hold on to them too, a little too much. And at the same time, we are not used to talking socially. Then, like, imagine if you're that other person, you will repel them really quickly. It makes it really tough, and I want to talk about this. Just overall, it, this is going to be tough, but you have to go and respect and value yourself first. Because if you don't, then you're stepping into a relationship carrying a set of boundaries, a set of baggages. My boundaries, yeah. A set of baggages that it's going to be tough to create a healthy relationship in. Like you imagine you going into a room and you're constantly comparing yourself with other people, and every time you do it, you you feel anxious. You don't know where you stand. You don't know how popular you are, and you're always on your feet. Being in that kind of position in the relationship will ultimately ruin that relationship. Because, like, you don't want you're afraid that what other person might think of you, and you're not focusing on becoming who you are and becoming a more confident individual that can get you to a place where you can create a confident, a healthy relationship. 
A healthy relationship comes when both individuals are confident in themselves and being true in understanding who they are as a person, their sort of sense of identity. And this identity is very much rooted in how much you really know who you are. So when you establish your sense of own sense of internal value, then you can walk out there and just look at other people. You can kind of observe them, but you don't have this need to compare yourself with other people. And when you don't do that, you're not trying to like think like, oh, okay, this guy's much better. I have to sh like make him feel bad about himself so I can feel better. There's none of that. There's no jealousy. There's no stepping on each other's toes. There's no, there's, for you, there's pretty much no competition. And this is very important when we establish our sense of identity before going into any sense of relationship. Because you experience it when we don't have something, we feel incredibly desperate, and that puts us in a very bad position. So that is pretty much what I'm going to talk about today. And this is regarding with loneliness. This is regarding with friendship. And how do you get back into that position where you are able to catch up with society, learn all the things that you missed, and be able to find a person that you can come find in. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if it does, you can give me a com leave me a comment or uh, let me know how I helped you. That would be much appreciated. So, or you can tell me what I missed. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all your support and stay strong. We're all in this journey together and keep on going, man. All right, take care.